<sighs> greetings, greetings, greetings. This is Lisa. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Hope this segment finds you in good spirit and in good health. I hope you all had an incredible Mother's Day weekend. And for those of you who celebrated with your mom, I hope you made more memories because at the end, what is life? It's all about experiences. And for those of you who mom was not with you, may her spirit and her love be with you at all times because it's in your heart. Hi, Robert. Long time no see, dear. Hope you had an amazing weekend. How are you? Hi, Jen. So today is a wonderful day um, because I make it wonderful. Don't we all? We all make a choice of what to do with our day and how to celebrate. And today I have chosen to make this day a celebration, a celebration of life, a celebration of in memory of, and in celebration I'm doing something. So today it's a celebration of not only mom, but parents. Um, hey girl, I'm good, long time no talk. Happy belated Mother's Day. Well, I only have a four-legged one, but thank you. Hope you enjoyed your time with family. And how was Lisa? <laughs> so the reason I'm call, uh, not calling, but today's segment is about celebration. And I wanted us to realize that every single experience in our life when we go through it, we must become present. And it doesn't matter what we are celebrating, celebrating life, celebrating a new baby, celebrating a new dog, celebrating some people, cars, a new home, a new job, Mother's Day, everything, even a beautiful bottle of wine that uh, a spe special person gave it to me. And you know, I'm celebrating because it's not so much about the bottle of wine because it says, it's so poetic. It was given to me, it says, Into the Fog. And the name of this is Storyteller. Um, can you see it? Look at that, Storyteller. And this person, wonderful person, gave it to me saying, you like wine and you like to tell stories. So when he saw this bottle of wine, he gave it to me as present. And I think that in itself is a celebration. Why? Because that person took a moment to give me something that resonated and became special to me. And when we do something special for someone, the way I say the difference between a present and a gift is when we buy a gift, we gift someone what they like. But when we buy a present is we are presenting that person with what we want, what we like. So I hope this makes a difference for you, the difference between presenting someone or gifting someone. And that was a beautiful gift. Today's segment being a celebration, I want to share. Today is a very special day for me. And how, how wonderful it is that I am spending this special day with you, even though it's not mine. But... Exactly 60 years ago today, my parents got married. And if it was not be for my dad's passing two weeks after uh, their 59th anniversary last year, which will be two weeks from today, this would have been today celebrating their 60th. 
And I think that is wonderful because tonight I'm taking mom out in memoriam, not only to him, but celebrating today. Every year, as long as I remember from, from the time that I started making money, I would send a bouquet of flowers to them saying, thank you for the life that the two of you have put together and thank you for making this family and this is in honor in your anniversary so i would send the beautiful flowers to them saying thank you for their anniversary and dad would do his own gifting last year exactly tonight this day um, we were the three of us were sitting at the dinner table and I drank a toast I toasted them for being together for 59 years and loving and caring for one another all through and yes so many times I told them why don't you just get a divorce, you know, when they would argue and everything? Because I do not believe there is a family without an argument, without a bickering and everything. But at the end, their care and love was so much deeper than this surface of bickering and everything. And there's been times that, yes, when my dad and I got into an argument, a vicious argument, I should say we would butt head because we were so much alike I have walked out of their house and bang the door and say I'm not returning or the same thing with my mom I have gotten into arguments and you know truly it does happen everywhere but there is a difference between getting into an argument and fighting being viciously and with malice. And when we fight, we fight about something, not about us. So it's like I never ever hesitated their love for me, especially the love of my parents, my dad the way he loved me, the way he loved mom. And I knew there was a difference between arguing and not liking what we do versus if there was no love for one another. And that was never a doubt. Yes, Robert, it would have been, it's going to be exactly a year. So on their 59th anniversary, when I did a toast, I thank them both, especially my dad, because I knew his days. Um, it was just days. You know, he was in, in and out of the hospital. But three days before their anniversary last year on the 12th, he came home. Um, we brought him home from the hospital, and he wanted to spend the anniversary at home. And uh, two days later, he was back in the hospital. But it's incredible how when, when we choose, when we want something, when the desire is so great that he got well enough to come home and be home a few days. And then his life declined, his illness declined, and then he was back in the hospital. And as I was driving him back into the hospital, um, this is what I call memories. It's like segments that we cherish and it becomes picturesque. I was holding his hand and he was moaning and yet he held my hand so strong and he says, I love you, driving. And I said, of course you do. I love you back. And he says, no, but I really love you. You're my only one. And I say, thank you, Daddy. You see, 
life is not about what's going to happen when I go to the hospital. Life is not about what's going to happen an hour from now. Uh, or I'm not happy now because I still have to do this. I have to accomplish that. Even yesterday, I was in a frenzy because my phone was out, the toilet isn't working, the light outside was broken, and I was like, ah, so many things are out of order. And then I had to take that very moment and say, there is a, a good reason for all of this. And I must take this moment and be present be present and recognize that the light outside is not anything that is tragic. It's not hindering my life, my health, what, of what is happening at this very moment. The bathroom, yes, right now the workers are there taking care of that. Even the phone being out of order all I had to do is pick up the cell phone and make a call and AT&T took care of it within an hour. So being present in your life, being present with your loved ones, no matter what is happening, even in the midst of the commotion, that's why I say and I repeat it that doing nothing sometimes is doing something. Doing nothing and just sitting back, becoming centered and being present is doing something. So in your life, when you think about segments, memories that you cherish, the good, the bad, the right, the wrong, the fights, the loves, making love or making an argument, celebrating a brand new car from the moment you sit in it and you smell the newness of that car, you put your hands on that steering wheel and you just sit and you go, ah, oh. or when a woman is having a baby screaming, bloody sometimes and from the moment the baby is born and the first scream of that baby announcing to this world I am here I am here now and the joy the tears that flows out of the parents is saying I am present so every aspect of our aging parents from the arguments and from the time that they are gone, from the time we miss them and hold them dear in our heart, mom, dad, sibling, child, friend, loved one, partner. It's about us missing them. And at that very moment when we are missing them and we are cherishing that moment, all the fights and all the negativity and everything goes away. And at that very moment, it has nothing to do with them. It's about what we feel. It's about what we feel inside us. Don't you believe so? I mean, do you agree? Everything is about you. It's about your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions. Your emotions at this very moment. So as we sit together and we are here, for those of us who are uh, tending and caring for are elderly yes sometimes they become loud uh, they become childlike 
and they raise their voice, um, we have to take them to the doctors and sometimes it's inconvenient and we moan and groan about the inconvenience and we forget that when we were growing up they had their own moments with us um, right now there are so many parents that are taking their children and they become chauffeurs to the kids from one exercise to one sport to one uh, rehearsal to another thing and those are the moments I want you to recognize and as you're sitting in the car cherish that moment sing a song hold their hand talk about a story there is nothing more beautiful than asking your parents about their childhood their young times their loves what is their favorite thing I remember asking my dad what's your favorite color and he turned around and said yellow and mom and I were like yellow where did that come from because he would always wear grays blues greens even red he loved the red he loved the red shirts but he came up with a yellow and I said where did yellow come from he says do you remember I used to bring yellow flowers even the sunflower and I'm going yeah he says I've always liked yellow I'll be darn so ask your parents questions and when they get angry and upset have more patience sometimes we walk out and you have no idea how many times I've said thank God I have a home so I can just walk out of here and go to my own place you know sometimes it's unbearable but it's the moments of unbearable that we have to make it more bearable it gives us a sense of security knowing that they are there but when they're not there we must become a better parent to ourselves and to the ones who remain so this is I'm gonna be drinking a glass a toast to his spirit tonight and as I celebrate I know after 59 years you think what is there to talk about and there was times that they would sit in silence and watch TV and it's times like that that now when she sits and she says I miss him after 59 years of the good the bad the right the wrong the bickerings and the arguments the loves because this little girl when I think of them I saw that I heard those but I also saw another version of their marriage and it was my dad would come home and my mom would have dinner ready not all the time but it was because he was tired he worked until he was 88 years old but when he would come home he would come and give a kiss on mom's cheek and there's times that I remember even my younger a days that when he would come from work and she would be at the sink or something and he would go and hug her and she would like leave me alone I'm doing something and I would come and say he's hugging you so every handshake every hug every kiss little children observe 
like sponges. We look and listen and learn. We see the good, we see the bad. And as I grow up and as many of my clients grow up, they see their parents in a different light as a child. And when we grow up, we see the real. We see the truth. And then we have to analyze what we thought was perfection. There is a whole different reality to life. And then we must come to accept that person for who they are. Yeah? The same way as we must come to accept our truth, our authentic self for who we are and the past stories are just a history. And we can bank those or sometimes we have to let them go. Because holding on to the past experiences is not always beneficial to our health. Because there's things that must be released, forgiven, and let go in order for you to live a healthier and a better life today. And it doesn't matter if it is an experience of whatever is happening. Most times it is us not forgiving the person for what they have done or what they have said. And it happens in all families. And I'm not saying go ahead and forgive your abuser, but forgive yourself for holding on to it. So everything that we do, our body, takes it like a sponge, holds all that information, and affects us. And if we can only turn that and open that hand and become more loving, nurturing of ourselves and become more present, present to reality, present to today, and present with yourself. So, today, I celebrate you. I want you to celebrate yourself. If you're an adult sitting here watching this, celebrate all that you are. Celebrate where you come from, everything that you have learned, everything that you know. Become more patient with your elder parents and if they're not here become more patient with yourself and know that you came through them you are not them but you have so much of them so take the good take the best make it your own and the rest make it better which is evoking it, understanding it, acknowledging it, and then embrace all that you are today because of them and because of the cho choices that you are making from this day forward for yourself. Choose what to keep. Choose to be present. Choose all the things that you want. And instead of what is going to happen into the future, Create it, design it, write it down, and say, that is what I want to create, but live for the moment right here and now. And that's how we evolve. We cannot evolve to the future until we have not accepted, acknowledged, and become present today the here and the now. So each and every breath that you take from this very moment, I want you to give thanks to yourself. And here is a salute to you for your story, for all the stories that you are about to create from this day forward. 
and recognize the incredible person that you are. There is nothing that you cannot accomplish in life. Right? Every single thing that you have done from walking, from learning, from eating, from becoming, it is you who did it. Yes, we all have someone that helps us, guides us, holds our hand, or shows us and becomes a mentor and a guide from teachers, parents, grandparents, mentors, coaches, even doctors who help us. But at the end of the day, it is us that we choose for our own betterment. And for that, I must say, appreciate all of you. All of you. For we are all children of God. Protected from the light, and you can call it the universal light, God, whoever it is that you believe in. It is your belief, your BS, your belief system in your integrity, your honesty, your goodness, your health, your love that exudes and makes a different difference in someone else's life. And don't you forget the little one right here. So with that, I thank you for being here. In closing, appreciate and accept yourself. Celebrate where you come from and take a drink a toast. It could be water, it can be orange juice, it can be wine, whatever it is, to nourish your soul, your spirit, and for where your path leads, the journey that you are upon, you are about to take the one that you are going to evolve to. And God bless you and all the ones who were a part of our earthly being who are watching over us right now. Thank you for being a part of Heal Talk Tuesday. And as my father would say, generally, this is a good day. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you. Thank you all. Bye-bye.